I am a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I am a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. Okay, real quick, why are you all Swifties? Hi, I'm Kate. Um, I'm a Swifty because in 2007, my dad called me into the room to see country music television and she was doing tear gaps on my guitar and he was nice. like, you should like her, she's good. <laughs> and that's how it started. <laughs> Okay, I'm not that OG, but uh, I was honestly a hater for a little bit, you know, hearing her on oh, the radio and okay. stuff. But then wow. I converted when I met my girlfriend, and when she was, was like, uh, "It's been a year. It's been like almost a year and a half oh, now." Okay, yeah. She was like showing me all the songs in the car, and I was like, "This sucks." But then one day, <laughs> "Speak Now" Taylor's version came out, mm. and I went to go buy it for her, and I was surrounded by Swifties like us, and I just had a great conversation, waiting for the CDs to come out, and I've, I've been a fan ever since. Okay. When I said I was a hater, I was pretty glad to have said that because it made everyone a little scared of me. I think it kind of built my trust with the other cast members. I became a fan in 2006. Um, basically, first heard uh, Mary's song, bought the album, amazing, fearless, obsessed. <laughs> and yeah, she's just been, like, every chapter of her life I've grown with her, I've related to her. Hi, um, I'm a big Swifty. I've been a Swifty since Taylor Swift by Taylor Swift. It was like big at my elementary school. <laughs> Michaela calling her first album Taylor Swift by Taylor Swift made me more suspicious of her because a lot of Swifties refer to it as debut. It's been lovely growing up with her. I think she is like the best lyricism of our time. Mm. Yeah. And I think she's great. I also kind of got around to her whenever Taylor Swift came out. I was like a kid. I grew up in Kentucky, so her country music was like everywhere. And then, you know, growing up queer, I had to like hide that part of myself for a yeah. really long time. So I kind of missed out on like a lot of stuff that I would have loved to have heard. So I'm kind of getting back into it. So I've been a Swifty since I was four years old when <laughs> debut came out. My mom bought oh, wow. the CD <laughs> after <laughs> seeing her perform. She would just play that CD in the car all the time. And it's like been kind of a bonding thing between my mom and I. I just really look up to her as a person. And I kind of grew up with her as like a big role model figure in my life. I was suspicious of Linnea just because there was so much Taylor Swift going on with like bracelets from all the genre. I was like, I don't know if this is like, she borrowed these from a friend or not. I'm an OG fan, like Tim McGraw time. Um, I hated country music and then I had a roommate that would only play it in the car. And then Taylor came out, so I was already like ready for it because I was starting to like country music and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is your guys' favorite like part of Taylor Swift concerts? Like your favorite chant or your favorite kind of little bit that we do? Oh, one, two, three, let's go, bitch. I was gonna Ooh. say that. Oh, yeah. That's oh, man. okay. <laughs> she did like the go-to, so I was like, okay. I was expect I was hoping to hear something that would be a little bit more of what a fan would know. I also really like the, um, where are you going, Taylor? I thought that was so funny whenever I heard that for the first time. You forgive, That's you funny. forget, but you never yes. let it go. Yeah. I love that blood. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't have one. I mean, I saw the, I saw the movie, but I've never been to a oh, concert. Like yeah, we were all talking about what we like about Taylor Swift, but mm. is there anything that we like don't really like, whether it's like controversy Ooh. or just okay. like things in general. I guess for me, like I don't think there's a way to be an ethical billionaire. Yes. So oh, I hope absolutely. that she's able to donate money or spread the love yeah, to go does. back to a millionaire. Yeah, exactly. I know she does. I was like, actually gonna bring that up. I 100% agree because like she did work for it. To be fair, she yeah. earned yeah. what she has. She's killing it. Yeah. Yeah. And she's putting it back into the community like for LGBT and people mm. of color and like speaking out politically about like all these yeah. things. And how many people she got to vote. Exactly, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. 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 And all that money she gave back to like her truck drivers. Yes, yes. Oh yes. God, exactly. Was so nice. I feel like all the criticisms that people have of her are things that are just kind of the music industry in general. Yes. Yeah. Like the yeah. private Absolutely. jet thing. Every rich yeah. person is taking a private jet Absolutely. everywhere. Yeah, can you imagine her on a commercial <laughs> plane? <laughs> No, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> absolutely not. I think she also rents out her jet she to does. like a she bunch does. of people. Yeah. So there's really a awesome. lot of misinformation that gets spread where it's like she flew like 200 times in like yeah. a few months. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not true. Yeah. Like, there's like other people on the list. I'm drunk in the back of the car and I cried like a baby coming home from the bar. Oh, cut. Like this video for Taylor. I thought that he was basically that his girlfriend was the fan and that he's just the guy that's forced to listen to it. She looks like what you would imagine a Swifty to look like. I think Michaela just wasn't giving enough. She was really more reserved. Michaela. 
I think I just, I didn't really talk very much. I don't even think I answered my own question. So I guess, quick round, what's your birthday? December 13th, 1989. Okay, what's her mom's name? Andrea. Andrea. Dad's name? Scott. Uh, brother's name? Austin. No Austin. Good. Good. Cat's name? No oh, clue. Meredith Gray Benjamin, and Meredith Gray and Olivia Benson. 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 Yeah. Benjamin Button. Yep. What's her go-to cocktail? Uh, no like clue. whiskey. No idea. With Oren, I'm really torn because it was great that he was doing a lot of the trivia, but also there were a lot of things you could look up on Google and practice and study. She eats her chicken fingers with ketchup and sometimes mayo. That's what I learned from the NFL. These are all such crazy like things to know. I haven't been in it that long to know all these like strange things. How many toenails did she lose last year? <laughs> what was her job on the Christmas tree farm that she grew up on? Taking off the praying um, mantis sex. Yes. Yes. Oh this is God, crazy. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. too deep. Okay, these are all like Googleable questions. Like, what True. are some more things that? How about so like cardigans? Yeah. Like, let's name albums that have a cardigan. The Reputation one with the snake and the stars. Reputation sweater doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, the sweater. The oh, cardigan what, what doesn't did exist. I mean, then? Oh no. Oh uh, yeah. I don't think there's a cardigan for. I'm mistaking with, it. With like the the folklore and the, the holiday little, like, ones stars. have stars. Oh okay. Yeah. And yeah, red it must has have been that red one. Yeah. Okay, so I had an idea for a little like lyric challenge. So <laughs> I am gonna say a lyric oh, and trick. then go down the line and just Gosh. say like the next line in the song. Okay. If you don't know it, just we'll go to the next person. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Time won't fly. It's like I'm paralyzed by it. Ugh. I would like to be my old self again, but I'm still trying to find it. I'm not supposed to sing. After plaid shirt days and something, you make me your own. And something. Yeah, and what? And what? Uh, <laughs> now, it's been a minute. Now you mail back my things and I walk home alone. Yes, okay. That's interesting. The lyric challenge shows how challenging this is. I flubbed a lyric and I love All Too Well, the 10 minute version. Did you like the change that she made to Better Than Revenge? You did it? Uh, no. I mean, I do, because like, girls supporting girls. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. like, the, I mean, I but like, like the nostalgia it. of that time. Yeah. You didn't know the lyrics to All Too Well. That is unforgivable. It's so easy to say my girlfriend got me into it and it's only been, I feel like he said a year. And the person eliminated in this round is Charlie. Taylor, download the Nectar app. I want to see how compatible we are. Sorry, Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Let's talk about Travis Kelsey. What so do we ask. think? Yes. Love him. So I'm kind of like the elephant in the room wearing a football jersey here. <laughs> uh, I think it's great that she's bringing like a lot of women viewers to the NFL. I think it's kind of silly, like people criticizing like camera angles, panning to her and stuff like that at the game. Other she people... has no control over that. Exactly. The comment at the Golden Globes. With made... Joe Coy, yeah. yeah. The big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL. On the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear, there's just more to go to. That was out of pocket. I'm yeah. glad that she didn't like laugh it off. Like she just sat there. At what point so are bad. people gonna realize it's not a good idea to make fun of Taylor Swift like that? Like, yeah. you know. I don't know. I think that they're always going to. I, it's been like no since, matter what she tired. does. Not since it's the beginning, tired. but like since she started dating. Even when she kept her relationship private, like with Joe, yeah. Yeah. people they even criticized her for doing yeah. that. Yeah. Well, there's that quote that she has. It's like, men are strategic, women are calculated. Right. A man does something. It's strategic. A woman does the same thing, it's calculated. A man is allowed to react, a woman can only overreact. Is there anyone I you guys are sus like about? I feel like, if anything, like I it's am me. a little sus about just because you're a newer fan. Yeah, I get it, no, I get so it. So do I you feel think like I could just talk? Image of not being a Taylor Swift Talk fan. a little bit about like how your girlfriend like yeah. got you. Uh, not only like being a simp, but also just like <laughs> uh, kind of just like actually listening to the music. Like you hear like all the silly songs in the radios that give people the interpretation that all her music is about like breakups and stuff like that. Yeah. But like actually listening to like some songs like my what are favorite, your favorite songs. My, yeah. I was gonna say my favorite song is Superman. Which oh, was, oh, that's deep. Was, yeah, we were listening to Speak Now after she bought it, and she was like, this song is like, like not many people like it. And I was listening to it, and I was like, dude, this song is incredible, what are you talking about? Like, I like comic books and all that stuff. What's your favorite bridge? Oh my god, I was gonna ask that. No clue. <laughs> no clue. No clue, dude. Um, illicit Affairs, Don't Come oh Kicking my, my Baby, yes. just on my floor, yeah. <laughs> just like this, right. with like the wind, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Right. 
We have a tie. Uh oh. The tie is between Oren and Christelle. Okay. My case is um, it doesn't matter what you're wearing or what you look like. I love her when her albums come out, like at 9 p.m. for us. Mm -hmm. I, don't text me. Don't call me. I have to be alone. I have to like experience it. And I have to listen to it at least twice. I don't know. I just, I'm too old to make friendship bracelets, but I think it's so cute. I, if I were younger, I would. Well, I don't think that it, their age, there's a limit to it whatsoever. Um, I'm dressing like this. I'm 35. Like. And I'm a grown man and I'm still wearing friendship bracelets and bedazzled this shoes, sash, shirt, everything like. Oren just kind of started talking about everything he was wearing and he could have just borrowed his outfit from one of his friends who's a Swifty. And the person eliminated this round is Oren. I'm not sure what happened in the third round as to why they started to think that I was the mole. I've answered every question. I've kept the conversation going. I'm like laughing with them, singing with them. Like aside from them saying like my outfit seemed costumey and for show, which it is for show, but. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubts, the game will continue. Raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game in three, two, one. The game has ended. Nice. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. In three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. Swifties know other Swifties. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Will the mole step forward in three, two, one? That's, I'll never forgive her for that sweater. <laughs> Someone must have made it. Yeah, People, was she wearing it or? No, it was yeah. on, like, I Googled it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Reputation and Lover, people have made their own, but they don't actually exist. <laughs> well, I got got. Sorry. <laughs> no, okay, so I find her music fine. I am not a Swifty at all, I'm a punk. I'm an anarchist and I go by those values and her values do not match up with mine at all. So, I am not into pop whatsoever. I have always been into punk music from the day that I was born and I will continue to be. This is what I'm like in real life. I don't even go by Charlie, I go by Dogface. So, you know, if I showed up looking like this, how I usually do, it would be uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> I don't really like in her music video for like, um, you need to calm mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. the whole queer thing. A lot of people who are also gay are like, she's an ally, blah, blah, blah. And yes, she did speak about the trans issue, but one of the things that she also does is not really speak on anything else that queer people maybe go through. Um, specifically right now, she has chosen not to speak about Palestine. Any celebrity who is not currently talking about it, especially someone with so much influence and power, need to take a stand for Palestine because otherwise you are complicit, 100%, and I do not like that. If she stood up and said, hey guys, maybe genocide's bad, everybody would be like, hey, you know what? You're right, it is bad. Swifties unite, that kind of thing. That's the bare minimum. But she could also be like supporting like quietly. Like maybe she's- She shouldn't do that. Oh. I don't agree with that. Okay. <laughs> when they were uh, going on about Taylor Swift, I felt a little rage inside. Um, <laughs> Do you have to say he was fair where he was saying he didn't hate Taylor Swift as a person, he was just hating the choices? Because I think you're allowed to like someone or not like someone based on choices and just not them generally as a person. I was gonna say yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah, if anybody has like a disagreement, I would love to know. Sure. I don't have a disagreement. I just think like that's totally valid mm. if you feel that way about every yeah. celebrity who's not speaking out on it. It's not just like, I'm mad that Taylor Swift's not doing it, absolutely. so I think I can be a fan of her and still like oh, find criticisms oh, absolutely. of that. But like, if yeah. you had like no complaints, that would be an issue. But I'm yeah. totally fine with like hardcore pedal to the metal Swift fans who are also like, hey, this is bad. I I can appreciate his passion in Palestine and the Gaza Strip, uh, and I'm glad that he's passionate about that. It's just it's kind of a topic not 
to be put in a box with a bunch of Swift fans. Not that we're not concerned, but you know, we're, we're kind of more focused on Taylor Swift being uplifting and being a role model and letting people know that their voices can be heard versus, you know, having her solve all of the world's problems, global warming and war in the Gaza Strip. I did listen to all of her albums. Um, <laughs> folklore was fine. Some of the songs from 1989 were good. I liked the song I can't remember the name of, the really popular one. Shake It Off. No, I did not like that one.